Hey guys, Jeremy from How To Hockey. It's game day today, and this Colt stick has been sitting in the corner too long, so I'm gonna bust it out for the game. I'm just gonna show you how I prep it and everything like that. Uh, so the reason this one's been in the corner is because I've been using their other stick. They actually have two, so this is the second generation. This one has steel on the blade. The one I've been using is a Colt Gen 2 Raw, which doesn't have steel on the blade. So it just gives it a, a bit of a different feel. So I'm gonna set this one up, just kind of show you how I do it. I'm gonna head out to the garage, grab the hacksaw, and uh, measure it all up. And it is my turn to bring beer, so of course, it's got the cheap stuff. You will notice it is snowing out here. It's November, it's unusual for it to snow this much, but it's been snowing basically all week, so welcome to Muskoka. I'm just gonna actually grab my other Colt from the Jeep and uh, show you the difference. These are the two sticks side by side. So the only real difference in the graphics is the color. Colt 2 Raw is yellow, and it says raw at the end. Uh, then taking a look at the blade, you can see that this one has the steel. The Colt 2 Raw does not have the steel. Let's take a look at the damage so far. You can see where they have the graphics. There's a few peels, a few nicks in the graphics, not in the actual stick yet though. Uh, going down to where they have the steel though, you can see lots of potential damage there. You got paint transfer, you got hacks, slashes, all those marks that might break the stick, but the steel is holding up nicely. No dents, no dings, no nicks. So pretty happy with that so far. Let's go grab that hacksaw and cut this puppy up. I usually like to have the stick just under my chin when I have skates on, so I'll usually line it up with my bottom lip and then cut it there. But because I already have one stick, I'm just gonna cut this one to the exact same height as the other stick, so that's pretty simple. <laughs> All right, the tape that I'm using is PF Stick Tape. I just got this in the mail. It's from a Performance Wax Company. They're the guys that make that really cool wax. Uh, so I'm testing this stuff out. It's supposed to be premium tape and it's uh, wrapped in plastic to keep it from like nicking or uh, tearing or anything like that. So I'm gonna bust it out, uh, put it on, see what happens. First, you gotta get the plug out of this piece that you just cut off. So, uh, this is your teeth. There you go, got her. So I start by ripping the tape in half using a half strand. And then I'm just gonna wrap it right around here. Makes kind of like a streamlined knob so you don't get that huge chunk on there. You're just gonna go around maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 times on one side and then you use the other half so you're not wasting tape. Right. Now I'm just gonna push that down, kind of form it. So that's just a little nub that you got on the end. I just kind of pack it in there. Next, I like a spiral grip. So I'm gonna start it right about there, pull out about enough tape to go around. Oh, pulled out a little too much. Maybe about that much should be good. So I'm just gonna spiral that tape. You spin the tape like this and you make it like a rope. Just keep going so it's nice and tight. So you got a nice tight spiral. I'm just gonna spiral it up the stick until you get to the top. And then you can just wrap this around here We'll come back to finish that off later. I like to form it to my fingers. So I'll put my fingers in there and just kind of move the rope around how I like it. So I got the spiral pretty much formed how I want it. And now I'm gonna finish this off with a full strand all the way down. You go once around where the knob is. Then one more time underneath to tighten that up. So it's nice uniform. And then you just spiral down the stick. Oh, one extra lap at the bottom to finish her up. Done. Just to finish it off, I just wrap my fingers in there and then give it a squeeze, push it down. I'm ready for action. Now I just gotta do the blade. Just came inside to finish up the tape job on my blade because my fingers are freezing out there. Makes it hard to rip the tape. Uh, so just checking out the tape from Performance Wax. Looks pretty good. Uh, lots of like glue, pretty sticky, uh, nice and durable. So it does, it's not like see-through. If you get that really cheap uh, stick tape, you can see like right through it and this glue is really crap. So basically falls off your stick after you, it gets a little wet. Uh, so for the tape job here, uh, I just do a, a pretty basic heel to toe type tape job. So just starting at the heel here, wrap it around once and then go. Uh, some guys like to look at the back. I just make sure I get the front right and I'm fine with that. So just keep on wrapping her around here. And I like to overlap basically about halfway. Uh, so I don't overdo it or anything like that. So this black tape is looking good. It's not peeling like that white tape was doing when I was doing the grip. Uh, that's one thing I hate 
you'll get like a little uh, piece of fabric that sticks on the outside and then it makes this tiny little hair piece of tape that is, gets really annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna go to right about there. So do one more lap. And then what I like to do is bring it right to the top and just rip it at the top. So it overlaps a little bit. So you can see that and then just fold it over. And the reason I like to overlap it at the top is because if you uh, end your tape job at the bottom, sometimes if water gets underneath that little piece of tape, you got this little piece of tape that's flapping around when you're skating. It gets really annoying. Uh, what I do next, just grab the tape and rub it down the blade. And that just gets the uh, tape to glue to the blade a little bit better. It holds it on there, uh, keeps the water from getting underneath there. And you do the same thing with a hockey puck too. That is it for the tape. So you can put wax on there as well. You can also get a hockey puck and rub the puck on the tape. Some guys like to do that. Kind of transfers the rubber onto the tape. Uh, if you want to grab some wax, check out Proformance. They have a lot of different ones you can choose from. But that's it for me. I'm just going to use the fresh tape job, fresh grip job, and the fresh stick. So looking forward to testing this thing out tonight.